Right, uh, next Hunter Chase race is a two mile three mares event, Nauta 100 Handicap Chase. Storm Crow, Patrick Hogan, Gallant Gina, Paul Rhodes, Joel Judy Nosh, Darren French. Latte Sergeant, Patrick Hogan, Train Park, Stu Gray, and Wondesta Fable, Darren French. Six horses in the mares Hunter Chase at Ampton. The tight track, uh, and away they go in Wondesta Fable. Darren French who won the last Hunter Chase, uh, leads from Storm Crow in second. Up the inside is uh, Stu Gray's Train Park. They jump the next out wide is Gallant Gina. Uh, that's Paul Rose's horse. Then Joel Tudy Nosh for um, Darren French. And they're followed by Lata Sergeant for Patrick Hogan in a compact field. Only four lengths first to last as Wondesta Fable leads from Stu Gray's Train Park. Storm Crow out wide. Then comes Patrick Hogan's Latte Sergeant. Joel Tudy Nosh is on the outside of Gallant Gina as they come to jump the next. And a slow jump in the front of Mistake in the front by Wondesta Fable. And allows Patrick Hogan, Storm Crow and Lata Sergeant to pass him as they pass the winning post for the first time. And Storm Crow the leader from Latte Sergeant. Wondesta Fable is back in second in third. Uh, bad mistake by Train Park, loses a few lengths of the field. Joel Dooley Nosh is in fourth, uh, fifth place is Gallangina, and Train Park has dropped to the back of the field. But it's only about eight lengths off this leader, Storm Crow. And Padraig Hogan, Storm Crow jumps out well. From Modesta Fable in second. Then Latte Sergeant, uh, stable companion of the leader in the yellow colours and black uh, cap, uh, black cap and black sleeves of Padraig Hogan. Uh, the light yellow colours of Joel Dooley Nosh, and it could be even sort of an orange yellow for um, Darren French. They said of the grey horse, bad mistake by Joel Dooley Nosh. There's the head of the grey horse, which is uh, Paul Rhodes' Gallon Gina and Train Park at the back for Stu Gray. There are about 12 furlongs left to go. There's not a lot of jumping to do. As Storm Crow leads from Latte Sergeant, Patrick Owen 1 2 at the moment, one Desta Fable back in third. Then comes Joel Dooley Nosh, Gallon Gina on that one's inside, the grey horse for Paul Rhodes and Train Park at the back of the field. So all six mares are still standing in this mares hunting chase at Ampton. Uh, Storm Crow leads for Patrick Hogan. From stable mate Latte Sergeant in second is about five lengths between them. Three lengths back to Wondesta Fable in third. Then the two horses together, or the grey horse uh, Galangina, that's Paul Rhodes. On the outside of that is Joel Judy Nosh, and at the back of the field we have Train Park. So Storm Crow. Patrick Hogan second, first and second year with Ormco and Lata Surgeon. Then the two Darren French horses. One Desta Fable in those white colours, the grey colours and the pink cap. And the light yellow colours, that's a Joel Judy Nosh. Uh, two days back to Paul Rhodes' Galagina and Train Park at the back of the field for Stu Gray. With a mile left to go, yeah? Uh, Storm Crow jumps it slowly. Bad mistake by Storm Crow and Snapple Companion Lato Sergeant has moved up to that one side. And they go off on their final circuit with Storm Crow leading from Lato Sergeant. Del Duny Nosh has moved closer for Darren French. One Desta Fable back in the fourth. Then comes Galangino, jumps that slowly. And Trey Park was a bit ponderous to the back as well for Stu Gray. So Storm Crow the leader. From Joel Judy Nosh has now moved up on his outside. Then comes Latte Sergeant for Patrick Hogan. Uh, one Desta Fable and no one's inside. Slow jump again by Galangina. A uh, couple of slow jumps by that one now. And at the back of the field is Train Park. So all six mares still standing here at Ampton. A Storm Crow the leader from Joel Judy Nosh. Then comes Latte Sergeant with one Desta Fable and that one's outside. They jump the next. And a great jump by Joel Judy Nosh. And Darren Fresh's Joel Judy Nosh has gone to the front. From Storm Crow in second. One Desta Fable creeping closer in third. Then comes Latte Sergeant. Gallant Gina, after some slow jump, has dropped off the off these horses about three lengths of drift. And Train Park is another slow jump at the back of the field. Jump is probably put taste to Train Park's chances. A Storm Crow and Joel Judy Nosh duel for the lead. In third is one Desta Fable travelling well. Then comes uh, Latte Sergeant. Gallant Gina is still in with some sort of a chance, sir, but needs to really get moving with three fellows left to travel. They start to turn for home now. Storm Crow up the inside of um, Joel Judy Nosh up the inside of Storm Crow. Then Latte Sergeant, followed by one Desta Fable. It's Joel Judy Nosh in front for Darren French as they come to the next. Joel Judy Nosh with two fellows left to go. Jumps it well. From Storm Crow in second. Latte Sergeant back in third. Then one Desta Fable. And Darren French is one. Joel Judy Nosh with one fence left to go. Looks like it's going to be a quick fight double yet. Ampton for Darren French as well. Joel Judy Nosh goes clear. Three four lengths clear from Storm Crow in second. Latte Sergeant back in third. They come to the next. The only probably has to jump it. Jumps it slowly. It's Joel Judy Nosh but it's only it was a short run in and Joel Judy Nosh wins for Darren French. Two in a row. Two. Second bumper goes to Darren French. He's won the first one. So that's two up here at Ampton for Darren French. Joel Judy Nosh winning, winning from Patrick Hogan's two horses. Joel Judy Nosh wins from Storm Crow. 
Lighte Sargent back in third for Padre Gogan. One Desta Fable, Darren French back in fourth. And back in fifth was Paul Rhodes' uh, Galangina.